Good morning or late good evening or wherever you are in the world to everybody joining us here today. Uh, it is lovely to see you all. Um, super excited for today's session. We are joined by the ever amazing, and I hope I pronounced this correct now, it's Milana Zap, if I'm not mistaken. Is yes. that the correct pronunciation? Yes. yes. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made the point of when I met Milana, not, not the most recent time, but the time before that, to ask her how to pronounce her surname so that I could get it right for future events. But Milana is joining us today. Welcome, Milana. How are you today? Good, good. Thank you for having me. I, I always like to talk about WPC Live. Maybe we won't have enough time for one hour, but maybe there's another sequel. <laughs> this is <my> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so while everybody's joining, what I like to do is just give everybody an opportunity to let us know where in the world they're joining us from. Uh, so if you'd like to either in the chat or just by a voice, uh, just let us know where you're joining us from today. Um, uh, Milana, you are... Hey, everybody. <laughs> I am Karthik. I'm joining from India. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else wanna wanna introduce themselves? Hi, I'm Ankit Panchal. I'm from India. Awesome, welcome. Oh, hi guys. I am Sagar. I am also from India, and Milana knows me. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi Milana. <laughs> hi, hi. How are you? Good, good. I'm all pumped up for <laughs> WPC Live. Yeah, I'm. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Hey, awesome. I'm Andre. I'm joining from uh, Estonia. Awesome. Welcome, Andre. Anyone else? Uh, Anatoly from Ukraine. Hey, Anatoly. Uh, you you were in my in my uh, workshop on th last week, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I was in I was in your workshop, uh, Jonathan. Where you? Oh, yes, that's right. I, I'm recognizing some names there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, anybody else want to want to introduce themselves? Let us know where they're from. Everybody, everybody else is either quiet or working or still waking up. <laughs> All right. Um, so yes. Yeah, so today we have Milana today uh, talking to us about WPCLI for PHP developers. Um, Milana is probably besides maybe Elaine, who who is the current maintainer of WPCLI. Milana is probably the one person who knows the most about it. So I'm super excited to have us with with us here today. Um, so I will hand it over to you and, and, uh, let you take over and I will, I will, I will shut up from now. <laughs> okay. So I have a little bonus for you from the beginning. Uh, I've been reading, uh, what people answered there, what they are looking forward to, to learn. And there was one thing that was very interesting to me, uh, how to, um, ex how to use, uh, WPCLI to export stuff from, uh, production to local or something like that. So I have a little treat for you. This is something that's going to happen in one liner. And I'm going to use uh, WPCLI alias because it's very easy for my local <clears throat> to connect it to all the uh, remote uh, servers. So when you want to check what uh, alias you have, you type WPCLI. Uh, alias. I'm sorry if you hear my keyboard, it's mechanic. Um, alias list. And this is what I have. Uh, also, if this is uh, small, tell me to just zoom in. Uh, but if you can see, that's cool. Uh, so I'm going to use this one, uh, my imaginary client. So this is a remote server. And this one uh, is my local one. So let me show you. Uh, if I use WP, it was imaginary client, right? Client, and I can say like um, option get uh, home, it will give me the URL. So you see it's a remote one and this is how it looks like. This is the website that I usually uh, harass when I do workshops and uh, talks about uh, WPC Live. And if we do the same for, uh, what was the other WPC Live, you see this URL, it's local one, and it, it just freshly installed this morning. Uh, 
so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take database from this one, from remote to my local one. Now, uh, if you don't know how to uh, set alias, there is a documentation about that. Uh, for remote one, you first need to set SSH connection between your local computer and the remote uh, uh, server. It's done by making um, SSH key pairs, and then you put your public key to uh, to remote server and then when you try to connect with SSH it creates handshake and then you can uh, connect uh, through your terminal from local to your uh, remote server. We are not going to cover that because we don't have enough time. Uh, so that's important to know to be able to create alias with remote server you first need to have SSH connection. So now I have these two connections uh, with the uh, uh, WPCLI aliases. And what I can do is I can say WP client. So this is my remote one. And I'm going to say database export. Now, if I run this like this, it will export database to a file on a remote server. I don't want that. I'm going to type minus or whatever it's called. And that's... Uh, that will uh, uh, escape creating a file and just put the uh, um, output into standard output. That means we can do with it whatever we want. And what we want, we want to make it input for our next command. So I'm going to use pipe. And my next command will be wp. Now I'm doing the local one, CLI, database import and again i want to do it not from file but from standard input so i'm doing minus now we all know when we just import database that's wrong url and you have to fix it so i'm going to change this when this is done i'm going to say end and then i'm going to run search replace on local one so wp wp cli um search replace and now we have old url and then new url so let me just close this this is the old url and this is new url so what means old and new uh first is search then replace so i'm searching in database this one and replacing it with this one and that's all in one line, what we are doing. We are not making any files, not leaving any tracks, and we are exporting from a remote server, importing to local and running search replace on fly, everything in one command. And it's done. Now, if I reload here, oh my God, it's done. And we have no files, nothing, just one line. And if you noticed here, this is my home folder. This is not in any WordPress install. Uh, because this is local, I could actually just go to wp.cli.lock and run it, run the whole command without this alias. But with alias, I can run it from wherever I want on this computer. Now let's just check this, if all of it, oh, it's not done. Not all of it is done. So let me, you have to always check. Um, or, uh, oh, okay. Let's do it like this. I don't know everything, uh, all the places where this shows up and in what uh, in what form. So I'm gonna do this. Made another seven replacements. Um, so now it says this one, but you see, I don't know if you see. Uh, the problem is it's doing the 
HTTPS and my local is HTTP. So I'm gonna run another thing and just say HTTPS and then, so this was supposed to be in one line. <laughs> It's not, and it really depends on uh, what you have already in database. So right now I'm just replacing HTTPS with HTTP, but only on the main name made three replacements. Now let's see, and now it's working. Okay, so we needed a little bit of adjustment, but the database was exported, imported, and search replace done in one command. That was your bonus on the beginning. Now, let's start with, uh, with our workshop today. If before, you ever yeah? Could I yeah. just interrupt? Be before we do that, um, Anatoly was asking, do you maybe have some resources or some command lists with what you were talking about? Do you know offhand which is the documentation for setting up uh, the, the aliases and the SSH connection? Um, I found one that says running commands remotely. Is it that one? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it yeah. is. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to share it in the chat with folks. So this is the running commands remotely setting up the SSH connection that, that uh, Milana was talking about earlier. So definitely go give that a read. So if you go to, let me, uh, if you go to, Oh, here it's amazing documentation and uh, here you have everything about installing and then uh, here running commands remotely and you can see all oh, setting up aliases uh, and this uh, it doesn't cover ssh uh, connection because that's something uh, uh, not unique to WPCLI, it's actually uh, just Linux uh, uh, administration. Uh, but you can find it uh, on a lot of places. I do recommend just go to this place and read it. It's amazing. Or maybe I'm just excited about documentation. <laughs> okay, so uh, any more questions or can I move on? No, there were no more questions, folks are just saying uh, Rita had like a starring face and a head exploding emoji. Uh, Andre <laughs> said, thank you, Alana. Uh, and and, Andre was the one who asked about the feature in the one liner. Um, okay. And then and then Anatoly was saying, uh, you're amazing. You deliberately made mistakes to show us how even even seniors can make mistakes. And I just said, yeah. the beauty of it is that even senior developers have hiccups. They just know how to tweak things to get it all working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made mistakes oh so many times, and I did it on production, and oh, oh you don't want to know, <laughs> but maybe you want to know. Yeah, you'll make mistakes a lot of times. So, what I have here um, is now new. Um, you see all these posts, but basically it's just a fresh WordPress install, or maybe not. Let's see, WP core version. Oh, it's fresh. Okay. What I want to show you uh, today is how you can use some commands uh, to com combine it with the uh, PHP. And if you ever saw me doing WPCLI, you saw probably this WP evil. And then uh, I said uh, echo and WP login URL. This is what you probably saw. Um, and this, when you run this command in, um, in WordPress install, this is what you get. You get login URL. Now this is useless because you see it's uh, connected. You can't just click on it because uh, it doesn't have a new line. So what you can do is just add here like, uh, new line and there you go. So you can click on it now and you go to login URL. Uh, and that's what you can do with evil. So evil is just executing arbitrary PHP. I used it so many times. So I have a functionality that is really big uh, and maybe 
uh, I usually use it when I have some external API I need to import only once. I don't need, you know, Chrome jobs. I don't need it to happen uh, a lot of times, just once. And I wrote the functionality and it's working, tested, tested in local. And I don't want it to be ever executed without my knowledge. So what I do, I just upload functionality to a server and I go to SSH and execute it. And it just imports everything and it's clean. So nobody will ever execute it because nobody knows it's there. Okay, so that's what's useful. Uh, there is also another uh, command that you can use to just check things uh, and it's uh, with PHP. So if you are more comfortable with PHP, uh, you can use shell and uh, it will open a PHP shell. There we go. Unable to track. Okay. I don't know if my WPC line is updated here, but this will open PHP shell and you can run any PHP, like for example, get users and you get users. So you can check things if you don't know uh, what's happening uh, on, on what, what is the result, uh, what is the output of something, you can run it in uh, this one in shell and uh, it's very, very helpful uh, if you start uh, using it, if you need to, if you need to a lot of checking what's happening on, on the server and it's production, you can't really go and print things all over the place. So that's uh, very good. And for debugging as well, you know, you can see what's, what's going to happen, what's going to be returned. Um, so that's another thing for PHP developers. But there is another thing that you can do. And then let me just uh, show you. We can execute PHP files. This is great. So we are going to create PHP file inside of this is WordPress root. So it's not going to be a plugin. It's not going to be a team. We're just going to create a PHP file. So you do that with touch and let's say test.php. Now we have here this um, test PHP file and I'm going to open it with code because I want syntax highlighting. Uh, I used to create plugins in terminal. It's not fun. <laughs> it is a bit, uh, but it's easier to, to do it actually in um, in code editor. So let's open that one. And here we have this one. So let's just say like, this is just the best file. Test. Okay. And let me say echo. It works. So this, uh, this is very, very basic, but what we can do here, we can say WP evil file test, and it says it works. So again, not very useful here, uh, but for that, we have something magnificent and it's internal API. Uh, my internet is a little bad today, but we're gonna get there. Well, mm -hmm. While we're getting there, Milana, I actually have a question un unrelated to this, but I just noticed that you're, as far as I can tell, you're running Windows. Um, no, and no, I'm, I'm running no. Windows. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I thought you were in Windows. That's cool. Then, then my question doesn't exist anymore. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that setting up Windows, uh, WPCLI on Windows is a um, mess and WPCLI doesn't officially support Windows. So that's why I always tell people, if you have Windows and you're running WPCLI successfully on it, please blog about it. Uh, create tutorials. Well, that's... <laughs> 
That's the reason yeah. I'm asking because yeah, I want yeah. to I want to create a tutorial specifically for that, and I thought you had it writing, and I was going to ask you what you mean. No, no, I don't have. Um, okay, so uh, here and uh, have... what about Mac? Uh, I mean, uh, does it work on Mac? Uh, or, okay. or it on, only works on, uh, I mean, Linux? No, no, no. It's supported on Mac and on Linux. Okay, it's Unix. Out of box. Unix. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Unix. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Windows is a little bit problematic. It can run. I saw people making it run. Some commands behave uh, very strange and it takes a little time to, you know, set everything, but uh, it doesn't run out of box. And uh, maintainers just don't have a time to support it to, you know, so it's unexpected for, for now. <laughs> so here we have a uh, internal API uh, from WPCLI and this is for output. So this is how we want, how we can do things, you know, how we can display uh, stuff. So with log, we can just say, um, we can create a, a, just a message. Okay. Right. And this is how it looks like. See? Um, so we can just see this. WPCLI. And I'm going to say this one. And because we are uh, translating everything, right? Please just, I don't know, it can be WPCLI, right. And now when we, oh, it works, it works. Hold on, it should be just once. Here it is and um, if we would say like error or maybe success, let's say success instead of log. Oh, it works. Awesome. So this is very interesting and you can use it to do stuff, but not very useful. And we can make it useful. Uh, so I don't have anything uh, specifically weird on this uh, WordPress install. It's just fresh install. So I'm going to use users. And I'm going to show you uh, that you can, um, you can uh, do this thing that I want to do. Uh, you can do that with WPCLI right away from, from uh, Terminal uh, because uh, users are standard object in WordPress, uh, standard at entities. Uh, but if you have something uh, that is not really standard, that is custom made, you might find this useful and you might get some ideas how to do more stuff with this, what I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna export users. and But I, I don't want to export everything. So uh, I, I show you already uh, with Shell, um, when you say uh, get users, you see you get a lot of data. I don't want to export all of that. I just want to export like four stuff like user login ID and maybe email. I don't know, maybe password because I want to import it somewhere else, you know? So maybe just four stuff I want to export. I don't want all of this. And you can do that with the... Um, WPCLI, you can say WP um, user list, and uh, you can use like, let's see, help. Uh, we can say which fields, see here, we can say which fields we want to export. So we want to show user login, uh, display name, no display name, ID, user login, user email, and user pass. So all of it has user except for ID. Okay. Um, let's say fields and we set ID and then user login. Uh, 
user email and user facts. Now, if I do it like this, it will just display it here. But if I do, you know what? I'm gonna generate some more users. WP user one Let's have them 100, why not? Because it's more interesting. And loading. You can also create with internal API this loading progress bar. It's lovely. So now I can list users and it's beautiful. And you see, I have only these four columns, these four fields I wanted. So if I do it again and do this, um, so this is just showing where to put that output. And I say, for example, user C as V. And now when I, you see, I have user CSV. Mm -hmm. And when I want to open it, let's open it. Um, let's open it here um, with this one. You see, it's the actual users, it's actual CSV files. So you can do that very easily with anything, any uh, uh, entity. And what you have here is those four um, fields. So it's like a table title. Maybe you want it without the title and we are going to do it right now. <laughs> so what we can do here is, let's just move this. We want to say um, users, and it's going to be get users. So let's see what the documentation say. This is usually what I do. So this is not just to show you. Uh, where to find stuff, I usually go to um, to documentation to check what's there. Because sometimes I know things by heart, but sometimes I, I, I just don't want to um, face the error and then go just, you know, go and check it. So this is what we want. We want- No, it, it, is, it is practically impossible to uh, learn all this syntax by heart, <laughs> Milan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah. Some things some things you can know because uh, you do it a lot of times, but yes. you know, it, I don't know if it's uh, a plural or singular and what parameter is first. So I always go there. Yeah. So Perfect. get users is actually taking an array of arguments. So we're going to say array here, and then uh, we wanted fields. And fields is also an array, or it can be string. Okay, we are gonna do the array. So we want, uh, and you notice this is very convenient, user pass, user email, so everything is the same. So WPCLI used everything the same, so it's very convenient. So the fields, again, it's an array, and the fields are gonna be ID, and then, um, user, uh, what was that? Login, right? Login, and then there was user email and user pass. Now, coding standards mm -hmm. say you have to have comma after the last item in array of oh, get users not exact. Okay, so when we do this and let's say print, this one, um, and I'm gonna comment this out. So now, evil file, and this is what we get. Uh, this is our print for it, we have objects of users now. So now with that, we can uh, export that in a CSV file. And with PHP, 
we are going to use a function that is pure PHP. Um, um, right, CS3 PHP. It's called F put file put CSV, right? Uh, or format line as CSV. Uh, okay, so I didn't understand the name correctly. That I I remembered it as file put. Okay, um, so here we have example. To make this work, we need three PHP functions. It's not just. Uh, F put, uh, it's also F open and F close. So we need to open file, put in there, and then close the file. So we have our array, and we're going to just copy this and paste it here. Now, um, I'm going to call this file users, but let's say PHP, like coming from PHP. Now, this WV uh, means, let me go here, F open. It means write, but uh, it's, uh, oh, here. Uh, it will uh, point, uh, the pointer will be at the beginning of the file. So everything you already had in a file, it will be rewritten. So it will behave like it's just a new file. Uh, if you want to add to it, you're going to use a as append. Okay. But right now, right now we're going to use just v. And then we need to um, change this. So this is going to be users as user. And here. So coding standard, we have um, spaces. So what we do, we open this file users PHP, we write to it for each users as user, um, and we put it uh, into file and then we close file. Now, I'm not gonna waste your time now on error that we will get here and why we are going to get error because it says here we have the stream first parameter is stream that's uh, that's the stream here the the file then we have fields and here it says an array of string what we have here users is returning array of objects so it's going to make an error and we don't want to uh, waste time now, you can play with it, you can run it and see what's going to happen. But what we need to do, we need to convert these uh, objects into arrays. And there are easier way like doing this. And, you know, if you're in a hurry, but I like to show you what exactly happens. So I'm going to say user array. equals array and here um, I'm going to use these to make it quicker and actually let me copy this so let's be a little bit productive and this is going to be copy this and okay this is just a little bit uh, fast copying but this is how we uh, convert and now instead of uh, object we are going to uh, put array. Uh, so this, this is going to be for every row. Uh, so for each users, we will have each user will be another row. 
and we can uh, do so if we run this like this um what's going to happen we expect this file to show up and let's see uh, so now if we list it this file showed up but we didn't see what's happened there so we can open it and check it's there as you can see it doesn't have any uh, headings for columns um that's what we wanted i guess <laughs> but to have um to have a um like a output to have feedback what's happening um we can say writing and maybe say this one or um you can be creative as well but let's do it like this and now you see the uh, feedback what's happened now when this is done or maybe you want to have a to have a table i don't know maybe to show it you know you can do that with um, internal apis so what you are going to use is this format items Okay, so this is how you use it. Let me copy paste. Copy paste is a it's the best thing <laughs> for developers. So let's see what's happening here. Um, it's format table. You can use table JSON as CV. CSV, uh, YAML, so whatever. Uh, items is an array of items. So we need every user array to be in another array. So let's create this array here because this is array of objects and it, it's not gonna work. So let's say here, output equals array. Let's just declare this empty array. Now we're gonna add to this array each of these users and items is actually now this output, right? And that second parameter, the third parameter is named fields for each item data. If you take a look at this example here, key value, this is key value. So these are just titles for the uh, table. And what we can do here, not to repeat ourselves, we can take these fields, so this array, And you can say fields equals this array. And then this one will be fields. And now we can use those fields here as an array of this. Oh, sorry. And this should give us the table as yay so we have table but we also have this success right so this is for exporting and now we have this uh, file that we can export 
and then we can import somewhere else and we have enough time to import them as well. So we're gonna make another file and let me just rename this file. Uh, so it's not gonna be called. So if you want to rename something in um, terminal, it's actually what you're doing is moving. So move test PHP and we are gonna say export users PHP. Um, so it thinks it moved file to the same uh, location, but with different name. And now when you see there is no test, but uh, there is export users PHP. Okay, so now we are going to create import users PHP. Again, touch import users PHP. And let's open it with the code. Right. And So here you can you can just uh, uh, write the command. How would you uh, run this file? Evil file um, import users PHP. So you don't have to you know think about it. You can just copy paste. Okay, and again we're going to use PHP for this and. What we need is get um, get CSV, right? Now we are gonna get the file. Uh, it's again stream, and again you have file open, and then um, length separator and close and escape, and here we have the example so let's see row one um we don't really need rows our loop is going to be much simpler than this so let's see what we have here um we have candle so we are uh, opening file and we are checking if it exists in, in the same, uh, so what we are going to check for, hold on, no, 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 we are checking for this file, users, copy, paste, okay, F open R, I assume it's read, um, open for reading only, okay, nice. Then, um, while we have, and now the data is getting, um, is getting from this file, from handle, this is stream, and now this is number. So um, let's see, length must be greater than the longest line. So it you want to be sure. So this is very like mm, arbitrary. Okay, I don't know how many I have. So you just put like you can use some PHP um, constants there for you know maximum number or whatever. Um, then, so you want to make sure that you will get all of them, or maybe you just want first ten or whatever, so you can uh, define it there. Then the separator and the separator, because we are using SCV, CSV file, then it's going to be the uh, comma. And then, so if we have data, now count data, we don't want to count. Maybe we do, but I will leave that to you to play uh, afterwards. And this we don't need. Let me just delete all of that. And after we are gonna close the file. So let's just print out uh, this data to see what's gonna happen. Let's 
So now we run this file. And this is what we have. We have, um, oh, this is interesting that we, we don't really need this, right? It's confusing. This is what I'm used to have. Okay, so we have array of all these users. Now, this is, um, these are the users we already have in this install and I wanna create another install. We don't have enough time for that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete all the users that we have in this, um, we have in this install. And then I'm gonna import the users from here. Uh, so how you do that from the file. Now, this is gonna be the inception. We are gonna run WPCLI command to run PHP file in which we are gonna run WPCLI command. This is crazy. Uh, so execution, this you wanna run. WPCLI command. And you have some options here, but we really don't need any of those. Um, and we don't even need this. So you see, um, it doesn't have this first WP. Uh, in command, so what I'm gonna say here, WP, uh, it doesn't have, I just said it, user um, delete, right. So we need to delete all the users, but for deleting all the users, um, we need to run through uh, the loop and that's gonna be, I don't know if that's possible uh, here. So let me show you. Um, I'm going to comment this up. So when we want to delete users, WP user delete help. Um, you see, user is uh, mandatory. All of these in, in these brackets are mandatory all parameters in square brackets are optional. So we need this. And this is user login, user email, or user ID. Now, to do it, we, we are not going to do it one by one. It's just insane. That's why we use terminal not to do things like that, not to repeat. So we're going to make a loop. And we make loop with another command. Now, uh, that's what's done with, um, in terminal, that's very easy. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna uh, run another command in command, you just type uh, dollar sign and um, brackets. I don't know what's the exact name in English. So inside these brackets, you can run another command. So uh, I'm gonna look through this like with WP user, list. Now, when we list users, you remember we had the table and that's not going to work. For this, we need either ID or email or username. So what we can do, we can just return a field that will be field will be ID. I don't know if that's, let me check. Um, WP user list. Um, if we run one ID, uh, one field, yeah, we can we can do it like that. Okay, uh, so field is gonna be ID, and I think that's it. User list field ID. Let's see, um, reassign, yeah, first field. So now we deleted all the users. Great, uh, WP user list, nothing. 
So let me see if I can just use it here. Um, let's generate some users. User generate and let's say count 10. We don't want more. Okay, so let me use list. Okay, we have 10 and I'm going to run now this file just to see if it's going to work that I delete all of them. Yeah, cool. So you can do it like this. And now we have no users, but we have them all exported to this file. And uh, now we saw that this is array of, so each user is array, I believe. Let's run it again <laughs> because I forgot what we saw here. Um, so very quickly, Milana, uh, there's another question which we can get back to much later, but Sega had a question about um, when you run that use the delete, um, does it delete the related data too? And my understanding is that's what that reassign question was about because yeah, uh, yeah. In, in the, it, it, yeah. So uh, if you, um, you, ha you have to reassign the articles to some other users, but we are deleting all of the users. So I don't know, uh, let's check here. This is our, um, so all the posts are here by no one. So the posts exist, you can assign them to some other uh, users and we'll check. This is a good question and good moment to, to ask. So we are gonna check when we import all the users, we're gonna check to see um, what, uh, what will happen if they're going to be back to to their posts. So right now uh, we have this array of uh, user data. And now let's use just WordPress um, command to create user uh, command uh, function because now we are doing the PHP. Um, let me create user. Let's see. So, what we have username is data, data one, then password is data. Three and email is, I believe, data two. Right, it's data two. Do we have anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Um, so let's see what's going to happen. Um, we can also add, what's the problem here? Unexpected, oh, sorry. Okay, and we can add here um, like a little of feedback, right? Where is the expert users? So um, username, yay, and this should be it. Let's see what's gonna happen, right? Oh my God. <laughs>
right at the user list and they're all there. So now I can do this and every time I want to import, I can just delete all of them and then import. And that's about it for today, I think. <laughs> cool. Um, there was another question earlier, which if you wouldn't mind, when you were doing WP Shell, uh, Anatoly asked about, can you run sort of WordPress functionality using WP Shell? And his example was, for example, getting a post or, or getting getting some, some custom fields. Maybe if you want to show, what so yes. for, like a simple example would just be run get posts um, inside WP Shell and just show folks what that does. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Again, let's just check this one that we said. Oh, it's not reassigned. That's probably because ID is different because we didn't hmm. insert the ID. Okay, that's another thing to learn. So WP Shell, uh, we want it to, um, yeah, let's see. Um, let me log in here. Oh, do I have a password and username? Ah, hold on. Um, okay, I don't need to log in. Let me just say those with. Um, so we were at the post 35, this is the ID 233. Now let's go back to shell and let's say, um, get post meta for 233 post, it's empty. Um, what function do we, do we have any example there? Um, that I mean, you, you could just, you could just run get posts, for example, and just show what that does oh, just as post, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just say get so posts we, and just show. We, we did it with users. So here you have yes. this. You can run yeah. any, anything that you can run in a file on WordPress. You can run it here in shell and, you know, you can run. Uh, all the other functions to get data from, um, let's see, um, what is the the function to get PHP info? It's PHP info, right? Yeah, yes, okay. just PHP info, yes. Uh, uh, without the without the underscore. Oh, so it's just right. one word, yeah. <laughs> right. So you see, you get that. You can run any function, PHP or WordPress, so you can get all the data you want. And you can do the dry run, so you can just see what's gonna happen if you would run it, but not actually run it. Uh, there are a lot of flexibilities you know, to, to do. So whatever is more comfortable to you, is it PHP, is it WPCLI, or you can combine it, whatever is quicker, you can use it. Perfect. And then just one last question. Karthik asks if you would, if you wouldn't mind pasting your your PHP code that you were writing up today, the test code that you were working on, would you mind uh, sharing that either somewhere online or in the chat or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, I will put it in in a GitHub repository. Um, okay. Perfect. And then what we maybe we can do is we can link it in the meetup comments. Yes. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Well, that was. That was fun. I learned so much about what WPCLI could do. I didn't know that you could run commands within commands. Um, yeah, yeah. That was very yeah. cool. That actually, that is uh, what makes the terminal so powerful. When you start combining it with other tools, that's blowing mine. You know, I was deleting 20,000 posts and I was like, oh my God, this is great. Just watching it deletes, you know, you don't do anything. So that's where the full power is. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think I think those are all the questions we've dealt with. So thank you, Malana, for sharing with us today. I love I love the fact that um, when you write your code, it works perfectly first time. That was brilliant. Um, <laughs> no errors here. <laughs> um, thanks, folks, for joining. Um, if you do, if you do have any other questions, you're welcome to post them in the meetup chat and we'll follow up with those. Um, we'll also get this recording up to WordPress TV within a few days. 
um, so that you can that you can check this out. If you're watching this online and you have questions, feel free to post these in the meetup. Uh, again, thank you, Milana, for hosting. Uh, it was it was lovely. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, and we'll see you. We'll see you around. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you, you Milana and Jonathan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Milana. Awesome. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Bye.